This is a pretty uh, interesting looking station. We're at Kersley. Why are we at Kersley? Because we're going to visit every single station in the borough of Bolton. Why are we visiting every station in the borough of Bolton? Because why not? I mean, it's a lot of stations that I haven't done that. You've not done them either. So let's yeah. do them. Sounds like a good enough reason to <laughs> me. Sure, let's do it. So there are 11 different stations in the borough of Bolton. And uh, well, we're at Kersley already, so what's the, uh, what's the plan? So we're gonna get the next train and we're going to Farnworth. It's only a two minute train, but and then we're going to walk from Farnworth to Moses Gate. Okay, and... yes. <laughs> You'll see what happens from there. <laughs> okay, there is our train, I believe, uh, back there. So let's, let, let's begin. EMR, very cool. If you are leaving the train here, mind the gap between the train and platform edge. So to explain the meaning of visiting every station, um, basically what it means is we have to either board and or alight a train at every station in the borough of Bolton. And if, if we do that for every single one, we'll have visited every station in it. And in the blink of an eye, here we are approaching number two, Farnworth. Farnworth, two of 11. So why are we walking? Where are we, uh, where are we going now? Well, we're walking to Moses Gate Station, but we're gonna go the scenic route because we've got an hour before our next train. Ah, yes. So, uh, yeah. Well, we, we had sort of two options, didn't we? We had the, the, the quick way or the scenic way. So we'll go the scenic way since we have time. Yes, this gets us to have a little bit of an opportunity to look around Farnworth. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, you tell me. Wait, what? Why is there a sign by Northern for CCTV? We're like a 10, 15 minute walk away from any railway lines. Why is, why is that there? <laughs> what? We were meant to go that way, I think, but it's uh, very muddy and I am not in the right shoes for this. Uh, let's... See what's up this hill. <laughs> My God, we can still see the uh, the results of Storm Henk. That river looks very, very full. Well, here we are at the uh, scenic part of the scenic route. Nice, good job. Yeah, well, Moses Gate Country Park. I have a lot of memories here as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> we could stay and admire the view for a bit longer, but uh, yeah, we best not dawdle. It's ideal we don't miss our Moses Gate train. Okay, Moses Gate. We've made it to station number three. The station looks kind of either semi-new or rebuilt. Can you check for me? I want to see if I'm right. So the station seems to have been rebuilt or redone up around 2015. We're about to get photobombed. <laughs> <laughs> the damn 150s. Uh, but yes, rebuilt in 2015, so I was kind of right. Yay. The station doesn't have any... Uh, dot matrix displays for the times. So um, when is our next train due? Uh, around 10, 15 minutes. All right, cool, cool, nice. So where are we going from uh, Moses Gate? Uh, we're going to go to West Horton. West Horton, nice. <laughs> the 319s may be dead, but these ones unfortunately aren't. Now that the diesel engines have come on, the train has become a lot more rattly. Uh, also, yeah, Bolton Station. We'll be coming through here quite a few times. And about seven or so minutes later, here comes West Horton. These trains accelerate so slowly, 
and are a lot more unreliable and have a lot more transverse 3 plus 2 seating. I'd almost be inclined to say they're worse than 150s. Anyway, uh, station number four, West Orton. Now, uh, we're going to now walk to Daisy Hill, which is its only station actually on its own branch that's in the borough of Bolton, annoyingly. So uh, yeah, it's about half an hour walk to Daisy Hill. The amazing, wonderful, beautiful sights of West Orton. I have an inkling to say that this here is the, uh, the high street. We're pretty close to Daisy Hill at this point. It's been a, fa it's a fairly straight walk, it's not too bad. Nice hat you got, by the way. I, uh, I wonder, I wonder who bought you that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They've got an old, um, GMPTE sign outside the front of Daisy Hill here. So the next train we're going to get, is, we're just going to get a one stop to Hinley, but even though Hinley isn't in Bolton, uh, we're going to have to go through Hinley because Daisy Hill is on its own branch and it's the only one in Bolton on this line. So we'll have to change it Hinley anyway. Here it comes, a four car 158 as well. That's a, that's a, that's a nice change. It is Daisy Hill. There's Daisy Hill ticked off. Um, so, yeah, that's now officially five done. After the next station, we'll be uh, half ticked off. Unfortunately, not with Hindley, because that's not in Bolton, but... It's still a new station for us. Yeah, true, true, true. This is a nice-looking station. They've uh, decorated one of the... Uh, disused platforms, and very nicely too. Over the bridge for trains to Bolton, Manchester and Crewe. You cannot get to Crewe from this station. I'm assuming it means from connections to Crewe, but... Well, that's what I assume from like Liverpool, but yeah. Crewe seems a bit odd to put yeah. on here. <laughs> this uh, footbridge here is actually um, soon to be no more because they're electrifying the line between Wigan and Bolton and they won't be able to fit OLE. And they've, they've, they've heightened this bridge over here already, it seems, but this one's still too low, so it's not going to be here for very much longer. So that sign over there says, Overbridge for trains to Bolton and Manchester and Crewe. But this one says, This platform for trains to Bolton and Manchester via West Orton. Doesn't mention Crewe. Interesting. Anyway, a little uh, platform switch done. And, uh, yeah, off to Bolton next. I think this is the exact same train that we got on to start this. 156406. Yeah. I think. I'll check. We'll add a note then. if I'm correct or not. Well, there was a uh, slightly late-running train um, in front of us at Lostock Junction, so... Uh, yeah, our seven-minute connection at Bolton has now turned into a three-minute connection. Let's hope we can still make it. Ah! Woo, yes, Bolton. Okay, next train. So what's the next station we're going to from here again? <laughs> we're going to Orlithwood. Orlithwood, okay. Nice, yes. nice. This station, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Like the, the station announcements say Halithwood, but online, yeah. when I, everything I see, it, it says Horlithwood. Like, is it if it's a hall? Like, personally, I is would have a, said Halithwood. Is it Horlithwood or Halithwood? Let us know. Here's all this wood. Cool. All this wood. We're here for half an hour. This, these platforms are really oddly high up, and it's also staggered. That's cool. 
I felt the station had a sort of kind of new-ish look to it, and apparently I was correct, it's opened in 1986. So it's a new-ish station. Or I guess new as in not opened in like the 1800s, but instead like the late 1900s. <laughs> Honestly, thank God for the uh, trains here having a half hourly frequency instead of hourly. I would uh, lose my mind having to wait an hour at a station like this. There's, this, this is a very bare bones, nothing station, I must say. All right, well, it's been about 25 minutes and lo and behold, there's the train right there. So off to Bromley Cross now. All right, goodbye, Halleth Wood. Now for Bromley Cross. Only been two minutes and we're already approaching Bromley Cross. Nice. Bromley Cross, station eight out of 11. Doesn't really look like Bromley. Hmm, that'd definitely be very up my alley to do like sort of Bromley North and South and then Bromley Cross, like all three Bromley stations, including Bromley Cross. <laughs> so there is one branch within the borough left that we have to do, and it's the one with uh, Lostock, Horwich Parkway and Black Rod. Yeah. And then we're done. Nice. So if you can see over there, this is the way to get between the two platforms. It's just a little footpath, not like a not like a level crossing, but just two gates, which you open them and you go through. It's actually, it's, that's kind of cool to me. Very, very uh, low down bit of platform here too. It's like T. Croix all over again. What is in the uh, waiting room, I wonder? It's so warm under this heater. I, I won't want to go outside now. <laughs> oh God, now. Cedar Drummond calls it Hollithwood. There's, there's a third pronunciation of it now. But yeah, two minutes to wait. Back to Bolton. So it's off to Bolton now, and then to Horwich Parkway is the first one on that sort of branch. So hopefully this time around we should get a couple more minutes at uh, Bolton Station. Not immediately jumping onto another train. We'll have about a seven minute connection, I think, due to the connecting train being delayed and stuff. Back at Bolton again. So this time we have to go to platform four to go to Horwich Parkway. Here we are, platform four. Of course, I forgot, the um, four car 31 slash ones are now in the uh, northwest. They've been moved from uh, like West Yorkshire-ish kind of area. <laughs> nice, wonderful six car electric train. This is nice after all of our 150s and 156s. I can't get over how quickly the 331s accelerate. I think they're like, I think the, or like at least one of the best accelerating trains in the country. Anyway, we're now approaching uh, Horwich Parkway. Horwich Parkway. Well, yeah, here we are. We've made it to Horwich Parkway, and this time there isn't a football match on, so it's not busy at all. We've timed this well. <laughs> now, once again, we need to swap platforms to get a Manchester Airport service, and we're going to go back to Lostock. Um, fun fact about the Bolton Wanderers Stadium, it has changed names like five or six times within the past 20 years. Uh, it's been Reebok Stadium, Macron Stadium, University of Bolton Stadium, and currently it's Tufsheet Community Stadium.
There we are, the uh, 1346 to Manchester Airport. We'll be taking that one to Lostock. It's running five minutes late right now. Surprising. Five minutes late is actually the latest train we've had today. This is... Why is everything going so well? <laughs> One stop on this train, yeah. off to Lostock, the penultimate station. Lostock, the uh, second to last station. However, annoyingly though, this is going to be our longest wait at a station. So that train right there is a Blackpool North service and the final train we need to get to Blackrod is also a Blackpool North service, but only every other train calls at Black Rod, annoyingly, so we can't get that one. Hello! <laughs> so this line down here goes towards West Horton, and this line down here with the platforms goes towards Hodge Parkway, Black Rod, etc. But only this line here has platforms. Why are there no platforms down there? So like if you want to go from West Orton to Lostock, you've got to go all the way to Bolton and then turn around to come back here. Whereas if you had, you know, platforms here, you could just... Get... It's an idea. To my knowledge though, I think it used to have platforms on both lines, but beaching happened, closed the station, then about 20 or so years later it reopened, but only with platforms on this line. Bit of a shame. About 20 minutes to go, and then we can finally finish off the challenge. A minute to go. Black rod time. Final train. Nice. We're leaving Horwich Parkway. One stop to go. Finally. Black Rod. We've done it. Nice. Well, there we have it. There you go. Every station in Bolton, all 11 of them done. Tick. Finished up Black Rod. <laughs> Everything kind of went to plan throughout that. Nothing went wrong. Everything ran was fairly on time and yeah, not bad. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, let me know with a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, I suppose. So goodbye. Bye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Um, God, this video turned out very lengthy. Uh, props to you if you've made it to the end. <laughs> Thank you very much.